Welcome to Soul Society, in this video, I will talk about, how to treat stings and bites with herbal medicine. Mosquitoes, bees, wasps, spiders, horse flies, ticks, and chiggers are all candidates ready to sting or bite us. Most incidents do not cause severe lesions or envenomation, only an unpleasant local reaction. However, more and more situations call for great vigilance on our part, whether during a trip to the tropics, mosquitoes that carry malaria, chikungunya, dengue fever, etc., or in our climates, mosquito tiger which progresses each year, tick bite vector of Lyme disease, a bite of the black widow, spider, venomous bites of life, etc. On the other hand, even if a bite is innocuous, it can become serious and sensitized people by causing an allergic reaction generalized urticaria, or even anaphylactic shock. Multiple bites, due to a large amount of inoculated venom, eye bites or bites that affect the face and or airways, throats included, risk of obstruction, bites in a baby or a pregnant woman, in case of abnormal symptoms, fever, chills, prostration, sweating a voice that becomes hoarse, nausea, vomiting, etc., or disproportionate to the bite. The call for emergency help is essential in the presence of general symptoms, swelling of the lips or spreading, facial edema, difficulty breathing, fever, malaise, dizziness, generalized urticaria, muscle pain, feeling of paralysis, etc. Note that a call to the poison control center is possible 24 hours a day. Phone the one in the nearest large city. Check the date of your tetanus vaccination. If you know you are allergic or have a history of angioedema, plan to always carry an emergency kit with you with two adrenaline auto-injection devices, in case of anaphylactic shock, a bronchodilator and a corticosteroid, or a lore injection, or an antihistamine, in response to the first symptoms green clay. Follow the recommendations specific to each type of sting or bite. Whatever the causative agent, you can always accelerate healing by completing the treatment with the application of a poultice of green clay intended to reduce inflammation, edema, pain, and the risk of infection. Apply the paste of clay in a thick layer on the wound and leave in place for about one hour, taking care that it does not dry out. If necessary, cover with a damp compress or spray water on it. Remove the plaster by rinsing it with lukewarm water. Repeat the operation two to three times a day, as needed. In our climate, bites from mosquitoes, fleas, and ants are rarely dangerous, unless you are allergic. On the other hand, they cause pain, swelling, and intense itching, likely to become super infected by scratching. Horsefly bites are painful and remain inflammatory for several days. Neutralize the heat label, heat sensitive, venom of mosquitoes and most insects by immersing the bitten area in very hot water, dabbing it with a compress soaked in hot water, or using a hair dryer. Then, several solutions are available to you to disinfect and treat the itching of the bite. Leak, cut the head in half and apply it to the bite. The released juice disinfects alms pain and prevents swelling. Use the same way as onion, chives, or garlic. Crushed plant leaves, kneaded then applied directly to the lesion, plantain, amazingly effective, burdock, lavender, basil, peppermint, parsley. Also, try aloe vera, cut a small piece in half and apply the pulp directly, or use a commercial gel. Apple cider vinegar, dab the skin with undiluted hot vinegar. Calendula tincture, mix about 20 drops in a little hot water and apply as a compress. Some essential oils can be applied pure, immediately after the sting, by depositing a single drop and tapping to make it penetrate well, to be renewed every 10 minutes three to four times in a row, choice, aspic lavender, result often spectacular, lovangula officinalis or rose geranium, 
the three most common, but also lemon eucalyptus or lemongrass, from Java or Ceylon. All these essential oils can also be combined, in this case, choose three and mix them before application. In pregnant women and children under three years old, limit yourself to the essential oils of lavender, geranium, and lemon eucalyptus by using them diluted to 50% in a little oil, or using the emergency preparation. If the bite is very painful or the itch is too intense, Add one drop of peppermint essential oil to the treatment at the time of application, its cold effect comes immediately. Warning: Peppermint essential oil is exclusively reserved for adults. Wash your hands well with soap after use. Preventive measures against mosquito bites and other insects. The use of repellents, in parallel with the wearing of protective clothing, is an essential prevention strategy. Well conducted. It avoids many inconveniences. The most effective natural solution consists of a combination of essential oils whose smell repels mosquitoes and other insects. However, there is an inconvenience, the protection time does not exceed 20 minutes. In addition, these preparations are not approved for use in the tropics. Repellent mixture with essential oils, diffusion or clothing, mix equal parts in a bottle. Rose geranium essential oil, lemon bed essential oil, and lemon eucalyptus or globulus essential oil. A few drops of the pure mixture can be placed on clothing, collar lapel, bottom of pants, hat, etc., or on a handkerchief kept nearby. Repeat them every 20 minutes. Repellent oil to protect the skin, rose geranium essential oil, 20 drops, lemon eucalyptus essential oil, 10 drops, litsia essential oil. 15 drops, neem oil, 30 milliliters, antiparasitic and repellent oil. Apply a little of this mixture only on the exposed parts of the skin, except on the face. Do not repeat the application more than 3 to 4 times on the same day. If you prefer a watery texture, replace neem oil with aloe vera gel. Note, if you must use sun protection, Apply the aromatic repellent about 20 minutes after it. This complex is for adults only. It can be used in children, from the age of 3, by replacing the essential oil of litsia with that of lavender officinalis. Ventilation or air conditioning disrupts the flight of insects and, at the same time, prevents them from biting you. Diffuse essential oils indoors, preferably using ready-to-use blends designed for this purpose or the above blend neat. Do not diffuse in the presence of a baby or young child, a pregnant woman, or an asthmatic person. The portable blotter diffusers, and branches on the plug, work quite well. Outdoors, use a candle, battery-operated, or solar-powered diffuser. Fight against water points that harbor mosquito larvae. Empty the saucers of flower pots and avoid stagnant water. It did not attract insects, especially Hymenoptera, bees, wasps, hornets, etc., leaving sweet or fragrant foods uncovered. In areas at risk of vector borne disease, malaria, dengue fever, chikungunya, filariasis, West Nile virus fever, etc., the use of specific products and impregnated mosquito nets are essential options, in pharmacies. Beware of critical times when mosquitoes bite the most, late afternoon and or dusk to the middle of the night. Note, the advice above does not replace oral malaria prevention treatment. Chigger stings are particularly painful. These microscopic mites live on grass and are most active in late summer and early fall. Their bite induces very itchy edematous red patches, several days, and is frequently a source of superinfection. Start by disinfecting the lesions, then apply on top, adding 1 to 2 drops of peppermint essential oil, or chamomile essential oil, to calm the itch. In the event of a heavy infestation, place the contaminated clothing in a plastic bag, which you will leave for 4 to 6 hours in the freezer to destroy the chagers. 
To prevent this, brush your lower legs with repellent oil, same for mosquitoes, and wear socks. Hymenopterous stings are known to be dangerous, especially multiple stings, bees and wasps, or hornet and bumblebee stings, which are fortunately less frequent. Remember that these insects only inject their venom to defend themselves. Don't make sudden moves or wear perfume that attracts them. The sting of the Hymenoptera is immediately painful, then the venom diffuses, inducing an inflammatory reaction, redness, edema, the sensation of heat, and pruritic. Remove the stinger as quickly as possible, trying not to press on the venom sac. For this, the idea is to pass a rigid flat surface parallel to the skin, credit card, fingernails, instead of tweezers. The use of a venom extractor is also to be considered. If it is the hand that is stung, have the reflex to remove your rings, to avoid the fear of significant swelling. Inactivate the venom by creating a sudden change in temperature. First, approach a heat source cautiously, cigarette end, cigarette lighter, hair dryer but without burning the skin, or, failing that, apply a very hot. Then apply one drop of spike lavender essential oil several times by tapping, following the same protocol as for mosquitoes. If you are stung while you are allergic to bee venom, do not wait for the first signs of anaphylaxis, inject yourself with a dose of adrenaline, call the emergency services and sit down with your head down, legs raised except in case of laryngeal edema or if you are asthmatic. In pregnant women or children under 3 years old, replace the essential oil of spike lavender with the essential oil of lavender if a sinless or apply fresh onion and or make a poultice of green clay. Spiders can cause bites. Although the most harmless are spiders, the first complication of superinfection is a local reaction, painful papule and sensation of heat. Two species are still of concern because their painless bites went unnoticed at first. The black widow, or southern black widow, is recognizable by its typical red spots, 13 points, on the abdomen. It is found in the region of Corsica and Provence. Its neurotoxic venom induces generalized pain with muscle contractures, abdominal, lumbar, and facial, as well as a sudden change in blood pressure and temperature. Loxosles are mainly found in the Mediterranean basin. They like dark places in the house, shoes, cupboards, bedding, etc., and inflict a bite that generates necrotic ulceration of the skin that takes a long time to heal, several weeks. At the same time, General signs reminiscent of the flu appear. For all spiders, disinfect then apply a cold pack to limit edema and possible pruritic. If the local reaction is minor, apply the bee or mosquito protocol. If it is a dangerous spider, consult and, in the meantime, follow the same recommendations. If the improvement does not occur quickly or if the swelling persists, apply the following mixture, a sense annual tansy essential oil, 20 drops, replaceable with a matricaria chamomile essential oil, a sense peppermint essential oil, 10 drops a sense spike lavender essential oil, 60 drops, replaceable with lavender essential oil, apply 1 to 2 drops of the mixture to the bite, 3 to 5 times a day. Complex exclusively reserved for adults, do not use it on pregnant women or children under 6 years old. Neutralize the heat label, heat sensitive, venom of mosquitoes and most insects by immersing the bitten area in very hot water, dabbing it with a compress soaked in hot water, or using a hair dryer. Then, Several solutions are available to you to disinfect and treat the itching of the bite. In case of eye damage, wash with plenty of water and consult as soon as possible. Immediate consultation also in case of respiratory impairment. In the event of contact with the skin, rinse as quickly as possible, 
take a shower if necessary to remove as many pungent bristles as possible, and dry yourself without rubbing to avoid breaking the mini stingers in the skin, which would aggravate the allergic reaction. Change clothes. The use of adhesive tape is also recommended to facilitate the removal of hair. While waiting for the consultation, apply the pure aromatic complex to spiders. If the affected area is large, dilute the essential oils, 30 drops of the pure complex in the equivalent of a tablespoon of vegetable oil, any, or aloe vera gel, to renew 3 to 4 times. For pregnant women or babies under 1, apply only vegetable oil of nigella, anti-inflammatory, analgesic, and anti-itching. Anti-itch oil for pregnant women and young children, lavender essential oil, 25 drops, Roman chamomile essential oil, 25 drops, coconut oil, 100 milliliters. A gentle anointing is to be repeated 2 to 3 times a day, on the lesions. Do not apply the preparation to the belly of the pregnant woman, in infants. Do not use the complex over a large area without the advice of a health professional. Preventively, avoid walks in infested places, wear covering clothes, do not approach the nests, inform and teach children not to approach caterpillars. Also, think about your animal friends, dogs are often the victims of caterpillars and accidental contact is a veterinary emergency. Same procedure as for spider or wasp stings. Scorpions, apart from the dangerous tropical species, are rarely a problem because they are nocturnal. You just must be careful not to disturb them. Their sting inflicts pain comparable to that of a wasp sting. Among the centipedes, only the greater centipede, in the south of metropolitan France, is aggressive, following the spider protocol. The umbrella and or tentacles of jellyfish release venom, contained in stinging, stinging cells, on contact with the skin, causing sharp pain of the electric shock type, followed by burning to swell. Hives with red patches appear, accompanied by itching small wide pimples, and sometimes a general feeling of malaise. Note, even when stranded on the sand, the jellyfish remains stinging until it has dried out, so be careful. Also, be careful with objects that have been brought into contact, tentacles may stick to them. Above all, do not scratch yourself at the risk of bursting other poisonous cells. For the same reason, do not rinse the wound with fresh water, but with seawater, saline, or diluted cider vinegar. If there are visible pieces of tentacles, remove them using tweezers. Then liberally dust the area with sand. Leave to dry. Then scrape the covered part with a small flat rigid surface, credit card, to eliminate the rest of the stinging filaments of the jellyfish. Rinse then apply 1 to 2 drops of lavender spike essential oil, renewing 3 to 4 times within half an hour. In the following days, you can continue the care by diluting, 50-50, the essential oil of spike lavender in a vegetable oil or aloe vera gel by applying it 3 to 4 times a day. In pregnant women or children under 3 years old, replace the essential oil of spike lavender with the essential oil of lavender if it's The bright ones are particularly dangerous at low tide because, lurking in the sand, only their eyes and their dorsal fin are exposed. The pain caused by the sting of the poisonous stings located on the fins of the live bait is intense, until syncope, throbbing and persistent. 
It sometimes spreads to the whole limb and is accompanied by edema, hemorrhagic blisters, or even necrosis. General signs appear as sweating, nausea, malaise, fainting, and muscle paralysis, which can even lead to death by drowning if the bite takes place at sea. The venom can be destroyed by heat, gently approach the lesion with a source of heat, end of cigarette, cigar lighter, without touching the skin, for 1 to 2 minutes, then apply an ice pack. Again, the thermal shock neutralizes the venom, and the pain subsides. Check that no sting remains, then apply 1 to 2 drops of spike lavender essential oil following the same protocol as for the jellyfish sting. At the same time, apply a green clay poultice 2 to 3 times a day, alternating with the essential oil treatment. Here, there is no venom, but painful lesions due to the spines of the sea urchin which can break within the skin. The thorns generate an edematous inflammatory reaction. The debris remaining in the skin becomes encysted with an additional risk of secondary infection which can result in lymphangitis, inflammation of the lymphatic vessels, and joint pain in the fingers. After disinfection, remove any debris you see with tweezers, or splinters. Increase the chances of removing everything by using an adhesive tape capable of removing particularly friable fragments. Finish the operation by leaving a very thick layer of green clay poultice in place for at least 24 hours, up to 48 hours, making sure to keep the poultice always moist using a stretch film. This dressing softens the skin and then makes it much easier to remove the remaining thorns. Continue care by applying spike lavender essential oil or the aromatic rescue solution 2 to 3 times a day. In pregnant women or children under 3 years old, replace spike lavender essential oil with lavender essential oil. Monitor the evolution. Because if cysts form, surgery will be necessary. The same procedures are used for the weaver sting. Some stinging, pungent or irritating plants. Nettles, buttercup, euphorbia, sedimaker, dioscorea communis, bramble thorns, rosebush, palm leaves, etc., can also induce more or less intense unpleasant reactions. Sting in plants, rinse with cold water then calm the itch with one of the following solutions, apple cider vinegar compresses the lesions leaving them in place until relief. Ribwort plantain, leaf, patience, leaf, these two plants often grow close to nettles. Knead and vigorously rub two to three sheets of one or the other before applying them to the skin. Pain and itching will disappear very quickly. If no plants are different, crumple them together and apply the mixture to the lesion for a similar result. Aloe vera gel, applied directly to the skin, pure or with the addition of one drop of lavender or chamomile essential oil, if the itching is severe. Choose the mosquito option or the spider essential oil complex, depending on the intensity of the itch or lesions. Against the pains, Remove those you can with tweezers or splinters, then disinfect. If the splinter remains in the skin, proceed with the clay poultice suggested in the sea urchin's paragraph, leaving it in place only overnight.
In all cases of stings, take the first line, to deal with the emergency, 1 dose or 10 granules of Apis mellifica 30 ch, followed by the strain corresponding to the agent responsible for the sting and bite or to the nature of the symptoms. Mosquitoes and painful wounds with moderate edema relieved by cold, Ledum palaster 9 ch, 3 granules every 30 minutes then every hour, until improvement. For prevention, take a combination of 3 granules of Ledum palaster 15 ch in the morning and 3 granules of lung histamine 15 ch for the duration of your stay in the mosquito infested region. This does not protect against bites but helps to minimize the effects. Bees, wasps, and hornets, Apis mellifica 9 or 15 ch, 3 pellets every 30 minutes, to be spaced out as soon as there is an improvement. If the inflammation is very important, add Vespa crab row 9 ch, at the same rate. Spiders, Tarantula cubensis 9 or 15 ch, 3 pellets every hour, spaced out according to improvement. Jellyfish, Medusa 9 ch, 3 pellets every hour, alternating with Rtica urens 15 ch, to be spaced out as soon as it improves. Weaver, Drainus viper 9 ch, 3 pellets every hour to be spaced out as soon as there is an improvement. Nettles in other stinging plants, Rutica urens 5 ch, 3 granules every 30 minutes, spaced out as soon as there is an improvement. Other remedies are useful depending on the evolution of the injury. Red, hot, and painful skin, Belladonna 5 ch, 3 granules 3 to 4 times a day. In case of associated blisters, Canthrys 9 ch, 3 granules 3 to 4 times a day. To prevent a possible secondary infection, Pyrogenium 5 ch, 3 granules 3 times a day. Essential oils are no harmless remedies. Seek the advice of a doctor before taking any medication. If symptoms persist, consult a doctor. Try a patch test before using an essential oil topically. To perform a patch test, place a diluted drop of oil onto a small part of your skin. If you develop dermatological symptoms, wash them off and do not use that oil on your skin. In the next video, I will talk about how to treat asthma with European and Chinese herbal plants. If you like this video, subscribe to, Soul Society. Thanks for watching.